Hello, this is Monero from Underrated Hardware, and today I'm going to be showing all you guys uh, my current and future upgrades I'm going to, uh, putting in with my Laddy Panda. One thing this thing lacks is lots of storage. There's only 64 gigs internal, so I added a external hard drive. It does use more power to the wall with this, and it, it has its problems, especially with this particular one. It has some driver issues occasionally. It's actually parked. Um, so, I have like a 400 gig hard drive in here. I might get an SSD later on, just depending. Or a better enclosure, because this one's always had issues with some systems. And then, as I guess a bigger storage upgrade for stuff like music and files that don't need much. I can get, uh, I bought a big sand disk. Let's see, get the lighting right. 256 gigabyte micro SD card. I got it on sale. It was like 60 bucks a while ago. Still haven't opened it up. And this I will be able to mount to the Laddie Panda. I uh, just uh, plug it in the slot and it should just uh, recognize it and give me some more storage. Now, of course, one thing I tried on this is I tried some more intensive games, uh, War Thunder and a couple other games. And, uh, well, the, you could you could play them on the integrated graphics, but it wasn't quite good enough. Now, originally I was going to use an RX 580 for uh, testing out some of these games, you know, with uh, external graphics. But then I decided, hey, what if I could upgrade the experience? And also so happened to be that I found a GTX 1080 on Craigslist for a greatly discounted price. And so I went and picked it up. I actually have it over here. I'll bring it into picture here. And it's, it's been used some. Uh, it's pretty big. It dwarfs the Laddie Panda. I'll get another shot later of it of how big the 1080 is compared to it. This is a Founders Edition. It is going to be a massive bottleneck, but hey, well, you know, may as well have fun with this project. So I guess I'm going to install my SD card. Uh, the hard drive's already mounted. Uh, I've been trying to get Linux to boot off this drive, uh, Ubuntu, but apparently this drive's just been picky about uh, when it boots up the bootloader gets kind of confused because it doesn't like to start up correctly and so it kind of it's iffy like I haven't been able to get to get to the desktop I've gotten to the command line but it's eh, yeah having some problems so I'll probably try another enclosure I've already tried like three hard drives in this one it's, it's the enclosure that's doing it uh, and later on I'll probably put a uh, Hackintosh at this uh, like, I know uh, High Sierra has good support for the GTX 10 series cards. Mojave, I mean, I guess I'd like to get it running, but uh, we've had some bad experience around here with trying to get uh, newer NVIDIA cards to run on Mojave. Okay, and so let's go and uh, try out some stuff. Okay, so now I'm installing the micro SD card. It's here in this little package. I also have a link for this in the description for Amazon. Here it is. And uh, you can install it while it's running because it's just like any other uh, USB. It mounts it as a USB adapter to this uh, micro SD card slot. So it's on the underside of the, the board right here. And I take this and slide it in, and then just push it down, and it clicks. And then let's point over here to the screen, and it's mounted it as a, a storage device. And let's look here, and we have 238 gigabytes. And then I can now put some of my programs and music on it. That was an easy storage upgrade. So this is the particular graphic stock I decided to get. It's an R43 uh, something rather. 
uh, R43 SG 50 centimeter and there's several different varieties you can get of it there's a uh, a 25 centimeter uh, cable for it and then there's a 50 you can also order a power supply with it it does cost more it is on sale right now and here's the one I'm getting here's some renderings of it and here's the dock itself and some small graphics card on it and the uh, M.2 uh, connector some more pictures here and here's my favorite feature about this it actually has a full 24 pin uh, power connector directly on it and the EXP DDC Beast has some 24 pin thing and then it just goes through some adapter thing to uh, just enough to jump it on but this has the full connector and here's how I'm planning to use it I have an ATX power supply I think it's a 600 watt one and I'm gonna plug it in and then use the auxiliary CPU power and then use the uh, uh, auxiliary uh, GPU power uh, which happens to be an 8 pin for my GTX 1080 will go in here and also the 750 Ti walls will take a 6 pin so I have options here now if you don't want to go buy a full ATX power supply there is another option for you you can go and pick up a Dell power brick that uh, plugs in right here and then it comes with leads that go up and allow you to power your card and it costs a, a bit more and I've been waiting for this for quite a while in fact it's been since the 31st of October and it still hasn't arrived yet it's shipped but you know it's China so it might take a while we will be bandwidth limited by this but hopefully uh, it should at least work well I just don't want it to fry my graphics card if it does its job then I consider it good enough. Now this does have a nice sturdy base on it. The XP GDC Beast has quite a narrow base and I don't want it tipping over. And this one looks like you could probably make your own brackets to mount to a, a case you can make. So yes that's what I'm getting and there are cheaper options but I just like this one for a couple different reasons and hopefully it works when it gets here. But in the meantime I'm stuck with integrated graphics. Man, that size difference is huge. So as soon as I get that graphics stock, I'm going to do a video on it. Uh, please like and subscribe, and you'll get a notification when I uh, get a video posted on this. This is going to be really fun to see how much of a bottleneck I can get out of this thing. Previously, in War Thunder, I was only able to get about 30 FPS on low settings. And on some other games, I was, you know, getting low 30s, uh, if even, sometimes in the 20s. And with the integrated graphics, it was playable if, if I really turned it down to ultra low, but then it didn't look good. So, this should be able to make it a lot more fun. Well, I'll see you in the next video of Underrated Hardware.